Oh, well, I started watching it like when it first came out, um, like from like from season one. I honestly don't have a favorite, but it would have to be the first two seasons. I still really love those ones out of all of them. I think so. Like I know they took on more writers as the season went on, and I, I think I just prefer the earlier seasons. I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of us do do that. I personally don't like seafood, so I've never even eaten a shrimp. And we call them prawns, actually, so I don't even know where the shrimp comes from. I think that's why it's my least favourite. But no, like, in summer, like, Australian has, like, Australia has beautiful weather. And, like, you're always outside. So, yeah, barbecues are a regular thing, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, well, currently it's spring at the moment. Um, and then um, summer's like from December to I think March. Like just getting changed really, like especially like the last um, probably six months, like Australia's had really bad weather. It's been raining like nonstop. So every try and haul I've done lately, I'm freezing. So I normally put like the heater on for about an hour prior to it. And then like, yeah, just getting in out of the clothes is the worst part. Oh, I don't, I don't actually follow a lot of celebrities. I mean, but Margaret Robbie, I love her. She's absolutely stunning. Um, I guess she'd be not like a role model, but like she's beautiful and I love everything she's in. So I, I don't know. I'd probably say her. Ooh, um, I've only, the only places I've been besides Australia is, um, Fiji and Italy. And they were both when I was like really young, like 16 and 18. Um, but I don't know. I like, I love all of Australia. Like we have a really diverse um like landscape so like I love the beaches and the forests so I don't know I love Italy but like I love love my home country I guess oh to live I don't know like a lot of Aussies they always say Canada I think it's because Canada seems very similar to Australia um but I hate the cold <laughs> like I can't deal with the cold um I don't know. I, I actually don't know that question. Somewhere warm. I'd have to say somewhere warm though. You know what? I don't remember because it feels like a lifetime ago, but I, they, were, they were definitely over a day, like definitely over 24 hours. And I think the longest stop I had was in Hong Kong, which was about eight hours. And I hated it. <laughs> like, yeah, it was not fun. Getting there was fun. Once you were there, just the flight. Oh. Um, not really. I mean, when I was younger, I used to follow, it's called AFL here. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's a form of football. Um, but then when I moved states, I kind of just stopped following it. Like it was huge down south where I used to live. Um, but besides that, not really. Like, I used to swim personally. I used to love, like, watching swimming in the Olympics, but that's about it. Um, I love gold, so it's basically, like, a marble case with, like, all these gold um, flecks and sparkles in it. Really girly. I'm not very girly, but my phone case is extremely girly. <laughs> I have, like, a love-hate relationship with TikTok. Um, oh god, like I'm pretty over, like I will admit I really loved the corn thing when it came out, but now I just, like I cannot listen to the song, it drives me nuts, so I'd have to say that's my least favourite at the moment. Um, best, ooh. Oh, I don't know the best one, there's so many good ones at the moment. I don't know. I really love Twitter, actually. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. I just love how easy it is to interact with people and you can see like all the threads and I don't know, like I just have a really good community on there. Everyone's like, super nice and yeah, I love Twitter. That would be my go-to. iOS, definitely, yeah. <laughs> 
kind of used all of those phrases, but I love, um, I, I guess this is a hoodie. Like I love something you can zip open. I hate taking things over my head and anything with pockets, like it needs pockets and a zip. Oh, I mean, you'd have to say heels cause they're beautiful and they make you look sexy, but obviously sneakers are comfy. So that's a hard one. But like, I can get away with wearing sneakers and laundry. I've done that before, so I don't know. Basically whatever looks cute, but I don't know if you guys have it, but we have Converse. I like like really flat shoes. Like I don't like wearing shoes actually in general. <laughs> but anything flat that kind of just feels like my foot. Yes, actually, like I love being outdoors. If I'm not doing anything that I need to do inside, I will try and be outside all the time. Um, and yeah, we have a lot of beautiful like rainforest hikes and waterfalls. So like whenever I can, I'll, I'll be out there. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I saw one just the other day actually that it was a big, um, they're called red belly blacks and they're huge and they've got like obviously a red belly, but they're all, like, we have some of the most poisonous snakes, which it is quite scary going hiking. I mean, you just have to make sure you've got, like, the shoes on. And, like, most people will carry a stick with them just in case, like, just to brush away anything that comes past. But, yeah, I guess you just have to be mindful when you're outside. Um, I used to be really scared of spiders, but now I don't mind them. I mean, when you live with them constantly, it's something you kind of get used to. And I actually think snakes are really cute. I mean, I will stay away from them, obviously, because I don't really know which ones are poisonous. But um, I hate sharks. Like, the ocean, I can't deal with the ocean. I'll go swimming in it, but as long as, like, I can see the ground, that's enough for me. Like, anything jellyfish, sharks, octopuses, no. That's, that's where I draw the line there. Ooh. Okay, um, so I really wanted to go to um, Iceland because like sitting in those hot springs with the aura lights or the northern lights, that's like my top, yeah, for sure. Oh. Um. I love pasta. I'm pretty good at cooking like basically all types of pasta. Um, and like this is stupid, but like I love toast. Like I'll have toast <laughs> every morning, so I don't know if that counts, but yeah. I mean, it'd probably just be not to care. Like basically what anyone else thinks of you. Like when I first started like adult films, um, in Australia, like it was, I think it was in like late 2016 is when I started and in Australia, like there was no OnlyFans or anything. So it was extremely taboo. And, um, when my friends and family found out, like everyone was like dead set against it and I had a lot of backlash. Um, but basically like, I just didn't give a fuck about what they thought. And like, that's just been like being really freeing, just not caring. And I've been able to do what I want without like any restrictions. And like now in Australia, it's a lot more common. And like with OnlyFans, that's really helped like get rid of the stigma and like the prudeness around porn in Australia. Um, and a lot of people now come to me and like ask like, oh, how do you do it? Like, like how are you okay with showing yourself? And it's, it's just like, just not caring really. Like, as long as, like, you care about, like, the people that mean the closest to you, like, for sure. But, like, everyone else can just, you know. <laughs> okay, that's easy. I'd definitely be a vampire because living my life in the ocean just, nah, too much. That can kill you in there. So, yeah, definitely a vampire. Okay, um, so we've got Wesley which we normally call him Welly, and he's four. Um, he's big white. Well, he's actually not big. Most of my little bulldogs, they're, like, they're quite little for bulldogs, they're, like the perfect size. Um, so he's actually the terror out of both of them. Like he's the most sweetest boy, but he's an absolute nightmare. And then we have Willow, which her nickname is Wilps, um, and she's two. 
Um, we actually got her for Wally because we thought he was lonely, but he um, obviously was absolutely fine by himself because, I mean, they have, like, a love-hate relationship. I know they love each other, but I think he would be perfectly fine without her as well. But, like, they're, they're our children. Like, they're amazing. Well, we we decided to get a bulldog because we thought they were like sleepy, lazy dogs. But no, our two are the complete opposite. Like they just run amok like twenty four seven. Like complete opposite to what I thought a bulldog was meant to be. Um, no, not really. I mean, the funny thing is, is like I actually have my family zodiac signs on my like ribs going down my ribs like when I was younger I used to follow it a lot um I don't know if it's just like I got too busy or just like I stopped following it but um I haven't like looked at charts in a very long time so I don't know like maybe like I'm not gonna say no but I don't know um I'm a Pisces the fish <laughs> Yes, definitely. Like, I just don't see how we are the only life form in, like, the entire universe. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. So, 100% believe in aliens. Not aliens, but, like, other life forms, intelligent beings, etc. Hmm. <laughs> I think, um, like, northern Queensland is one of the most prettiest places in Australia. It's one of the hottest, but their, like, beaches and rainforests are, like, next to none. Like, they're beautiful up there. So I'd probably say, like, like Cairns and Port Douglas, those areas. All the little islands up there. Yeah. <laughs> probably Bondi, like Bondi Beach. Like, that's probably one of our most famous beaches in um, New South Wales. But it is so crowded and we have, like a hundred more beautiful beaches than that one. Like I've never really understood the appeal of going there. So just, just, I don't know, just don't go to that one. <laughs> okay, so just like mental maybe. Um, I don't know, I'm actually very like, not, I'm not shy, but I'm like, would rather be like, just chilling out, out like me and just, like a couple of other people I don't like big parties like I'm very like just withdrawn I guess like I can be outgoing if I want to but I'm just very chill and kind of just relaxed I, I don't know <laughs> I have never been like a soup person but if I had to have soup it would have to be pumpkin soup Definitely Christmas. Like, I love Christmas. I, like, the only time I really, all my family is like live all in different states and areas. So, Christmas is like the one time we kind of all come together. So, it's definitely Christmas. Mm. I mean, I know a lot of my fans would say my ass, but um, I don't know. I really like my eyes mainly because. Um, my nana used to have like the same colored eyes and it kind of reminds me of her, but um, yeah. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a, like a catch 22. Like I love eye contact, but too much kind of creeps me out. <laughs> like, but like, I really like, like looking at their facial expressions. That's always been like a really big turn on for me. Definitely a bubble bath. I mean, showers are really fun, but like, depending on what you're doing, like all the, the, the splashing and, and the water getting in your eyes is kind of like annoying and bubble baths, you can kind of do more in there. <laughs> um, I really love anything like caramel or vanilla, like um, scents or flavor. So something like really sweet and cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Hmm, that's a good question. Um, maybe, like, since the pandemic, like, just trying to, like, like, be happy 
like with yourself if that makes sense like having to spend like before the pandemic like we used to go out a lot and then like getting stuck inside constantly like it was just me and Alex together and just being okay in like your own company um like I guess it like really teaches you a lot about yourself as well but yeah that would probably be it yes <laughs> definitely um like I was really good at like realistic sketch drawings um, and then I kind of transitioned into digital art. Um, like I have Awaken. I really wish I had more time to do stuff but like in my free time that's something that I really like to do. Like I still like doing like physical drawing but um, definitely like with Awaken and digital art you can do so much more. Oh, okay. Um, so I always used to wear silver and I hated gold. And now it was like, I don't know, within the last two to three years, I've transitioned to gold and or both, but more so I'd say gold now.